Okay, so for our third example, so still on um, time rates, so we have a boat is being pulled towards a dock by a rope attached to its bow through a pulley on the dock 7 feet above the bow. So if the ropes hold in at a rate of 4 feet per second, how fast is the boat approaching the dock when 25 feet of rope is out? Okay, so... Uh, to solve this problem, so we need to um, we need to draw the diagram to see how um, the problem looks like. So first, uh, let's draw the boat that is being pulled towards a dock. Okay, so where uh, at the dock there is a pulley for which the pulley is seven feet above the bow. Okay, so seven feet above the bow of the boat. So so say for example so we have um we have a boat okay so say for example so our boat looks like this okay so it's in the water okay and then uh, we have a duck so we have a duck here so for which there is a pulley okay so let's say um the pulley uh, is located here okay and then it pulls the boat okay and um so obviously the boat will um, go that way right because it is being pulled and then um, what details do we miss so we have um, the duck is seven feet above the bow so uh, this distance right here is uh, seven feet okay so if we project that so this vertical distance is um, seven feet. Okay, and uh, it is said that the ropes are being hauled, hauled, okay, whatever, however you pronounce it, at uh, seven feet per second. So this, uh, the rope, okay, so that's the uh, rate of pulling of the rope. So that is 4 feet per second. So in this direction, okay, so we have uh, 4 feet per second. Okay, so now let us assign um, the variables. So let's say this horizontal distance is x this vertical distance here is y and then let's say the length of the rope at any time is s okay so if we have the holding rate of the rope is 4 feet per second so that, therefore that is the rate of change of the length of the rope okay or that is ds over dt okay so ds over dt is equal to four feet per second okay but um we have to be aware of the signs okay so our rates can be positive and negative okay so in this case since as you can see uh, S is decreasing, right? So if the boat goes here, you will notice that the length of the rope will decrease. So therefore, we must also account that. So if the if the uh, rate is uh, making the physical quantity increase or decrease, okay? So therefore, we should use it's negative four feet per second. 
So, what we are looking for is the velocity of the boat. Okay, so how fast is the boat approaching the dock? So, meaning, it's this horizontal velocity. Okay? Or the horizontal rate. So, therefore, that is, since our horizontal variable is x, so, therefore, that is um, dx over dt. And that's what we are looking for. Okay? So, solution So, we must first get the relationship between the three variables, x, y, and uh, s. So, as you can see, the, the three of them so form a right triangle. So, therefore, they can be related by the Pythagorean theorem. So, solution. So, from the Pythagorean theorem, so the hypotenuse squared is equal to uh, the sum of the squares of the two sides. So, s squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay? So, next is, since we can't uh, relate y and x, so another option is just to differentiate it directly with respect to t. Okay? So, differentiating it uh, with, respect to, with respect to t, so this will become 2s times ds over dt is equal to 2x times dx over dt plus 2y times dy over dt. Okay? So, what we are looking for is dx over dt. Okay? So, we just try to find uh, the other unknowns. Okay? So, for the first one, so we have... Uh, 2 times s. So, s is the length of the rope. Okay? And we are given that uh, we are looking for the velocity of the boat when we have 25 uh, feet of the rope. Okay? So, therefore, our s is 25. Okay? Our ds over dt is constant at negative 4 feet per second. So, ds over dt is equal to negative 4 feet per second. Unfortunately, we don't have um, the value for x. Okay? But, we do have the value of y. So, y is equal to 7 feet. And, um, dy over dt is the rate of change of um, y, okay? So, as you can see in this problem, uh, y remains constant, okay? So, because the height of the duck doesn't change. So, therefore, our dy over dt is equal to 0. So, the only unknown left is x, okay? But, uh, when we construct the right triangle, given the conditions that 25 feet of the rope is out. Okay? So, S is equal to 25. Y remains constant at 7. Then, we can solve for X using the Pythagorean theorem. So, we can solve X is equal to square root of hypotenuse squared minus uh, 7 squared. So, that would be so 25 squared minus 7 squared. So, we have 25 squared minus 7 squared. Okay, so 25 squared minus 7 squared, that is uh, 576. So, in, I don't know if it has a perfect square. 
factor divided by 16 ah, so it can be square root of 576 okay so that is 24 okay 24 feet okay so substituting everything again in here so we will have um, 2 times s of 25 times ds over dt of negative 4 okay so negative 4 is equal to 2 our x is 24 and our unknown is dx over dt okay plus 2 our y is 7 and our dy over dt is 0 okay so therefore we can now solve for um, dx over dt so dx over dt is equal to so this divided by uh, 2 and 24 so 2 times 25 times negative 4 over 2 times 24 so therefore dx over dt is equal to okay so let's 2 times 25 times negative 4 divided by 2 divided by 24 okay so negative 25 over 6 you can also express it as 4.17 Okay, negative 4.17 or uh, sorry negative 25 over 6 so negative 25 over 6 okay feet per so consistent with the units so the feet per second okay so that's it so it's negative okay so it's negative because uh, this is approaching the duck okay so um, this is approaching the duck and um, x becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller right as the boat approaches the duck so x becomes smaller so therefore its rate of change is negative and this will also correspond to the velocity of the boat.